Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to detailly study and experiment the functionality of linker register in ARM Cortex M processor. Let's get started. So this register number 14 available in the set of registers of ARM Cortex M processor you can clearly see that register is LR register. So this R14 is the linker register and this linker register is a register which stores the address to return after a function call completes inside the ARM Cortex M processor. So if you take a embedded program we will be having n number of functions and whenever a function call is made the written address from that function call after the execution of that function will be stored in this linker register and based on the address that is available in the linker register after finishing all the executable statements in that function call the control will be fetching the address available in the linker register and it will be resuming the process that is available in the main function or from the caller function. So this is the basic principle of linker register. So this is the basic functionality of linker register. Let us try to examine practically how this linker register works by writing some program in our Keel Microvision IDE. Let's try to demonstrate the functionality of linker register practically now so now i am just opening the keel microvision ide and in this keel microvision ide for creating the project click on project new microvision project and go to the folder where you want to store your project let's take it to be i'm just creating a folder here and I'm just giving the name here to be pro you can give any name as per your wish and here in this first select device for target tab just type in the microcontroller name to be stm 32 re and you can choose this microcontroller right over here and then click on ok and in the next manage runtime environment tab just click on the plus near the cmsys and check this box right over here near the core and additionally you just need the startup code required for your microcontroller for that click on plus near the device and check this box near the startup this will provide you the necessary startup code required for st microelectronics microcontroller stm32 f446re in addition to that just click on the plus near the compiler and plus near the IO under that compiler and here you just want to check in std out and std in. So these two are necessary for using printf and scanf and also for viewing the output from your code and getting the input from the user in debug viewer window in Keel Microvision IDE that we will see later on. So for using that you just want to check these two checkboxes right over here near the std in and std out and in this drop down select itm here also the same and click on ok and that's it the project has been successfully created and now we just want to create our own main.c file required for our project click, click on plus right over here the target and right click on the source group folder and click on add new item to group source group 1. Here in this tab select the C file that is .c file which we are going to create and give a name for your .c file. Obviously the main .c file is the one which we are going to create so I am just providing the name to be main and then click on add. Now this is the main .c file. I am just including the standard header as include of stdio.h in my program and additionally 
we just want the main function which is the foremost function which will be executed in every C program. So the usual thing int of main I am just creating and since the return type of the main here is int I am just returning as 0 at the end of main function. So now we can start building our program right over here inside the main function. So now what I am going to do is I am just going to declare and define a function called function 1 with 0 parameters and inside the function sorry I am just going to declare the function right over here and I am going to define it in the bottom of the main function and inside the function I am just going to print the data in the debug serial window that is from function 1 with backslash n at the end and inside the main function I am just going to call the function 1 and following that I am just going to print from main function from main. So this is a very simple program you can clearly see the main function I am just calling this function 1 and the control comes over here and it will print the string to the debug serial window that is from function 1 and after this function call it will return back to this main function and it will print the string from main in the debug serial window. So this is the normal execution of this program let us compile this program and check whether it is working properly or not. So I am running the program you can see the output is as expected you can clearly see from function 1 and backslash n it goes to the next line and it is printing from main. So the output is as expected so now let us try to demonstrate the linker register. So before that I just want to do some so before that I just want to fetch some uh, memory address of all these statements in the program memory. So you can clearly see this is the disassembly window from this window you can get the memory address of each line written right over here. So let me come to the initial statement of the main function that is function 1. So you can clearly see this is function 1 and this one is the address of the function 1 call right over here. So it is available in the address of 0x, 08, 00, 0, f96. And regarding the print of statement that is available in 0x, 0, 08, 00, 0, f9a. And coming inside the function 1 this line is available in 0x 08 00 f 7 a. So just for reference I have noted down this I don't need this actually. So now what I will do is I am just going to keep breakpoints for each line available right over here that is for these two lines that is function call 1 and print of statement inside main and inside the function 1 print of I am just keeping the breakpoint. I am resetting the controller and so as per our expectation as I mentioned the statement and definition of linker register uh, let us discuss what could be the value of linker register manually and then we will check whether it is functioning properly. So this statement is available in the address of 0x08000 f96 so after completing this function call statement right over here the control comes to this function call and it will execute this print of statement and after executing it it must come back to this print of statement right over here because we know after this function call this is the only statement available next to that function call in the main 
so the address of this print of statement must be stored in the linker register after this function call is made so as per our understanding this must be the value that should be stored in the linker register that is the address of the statement which needs to be executed after executing the function call statement must be stored in the linker register so address from which the process must be resumed in the caller function will be stored in the linker register so after executing this function one the control must come to this address or the statement available in this address of 0x08000 f9a so since the lsb bit of the linker register is always one we will get the address stored in the linker register to be 0x08000 f9b so this could be the value expected to be stored in linker register as soon as the function call has been made so this is the address to which the function must return after the function has been executed so control must return after the function has been executed so i am running the processor you can see first breakpoint has been reached now you can see in the linker register we are having some other value and as soon as i click this control will go to the function one right over here you can see when i click you can see the control entered into the function one and it is holding before executing this print of statement and now you can clearly see as per our expectation the value to be stored in the linker is 0x08000 f9b which has been successfully stored in the linker register and as soon as i play the simulation again the control will execute this and it will stop right over here in this address of 0x08000 f9b you can see it has come to the beginning of the print of from main and it has printed the from function one string in the debug serial window and when i play from main has also been printed in this debug serial window so this is how linker register helps us to return back from any function call and resume the process in the caller function whether it is a main function or whatever the function it may be it helps us to store the return value of the address from which the process must resume in the caller function so this is the purpose of linker register i hope you understood the purpose of linker register practically in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching